tired. Yeah. We got in like yesterday, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it's cool. So she found out that Mr. Father, she isn't really necessary, she is, you know, something else. And how does, where does it drive her in season two? Uh, okay, I think it's, um, firstly, I think it's a very dangerous thing for someone to know that they're not invincible, but they have a few goes at life. I think she's gonna, knowing that there's a, she has four more life opportunities, I think that will force her, or that will open up the possibility of taking more risks for her. I think she's gonna be less scared. Um, <laughs> Um, and I think that um, I think it's going to heat things up, and I think it's dangerous knowing that you know you can't really die. Um, how do you think um, your character and sex kiss will affect or influence their relationship? Um, I, I I think um, I think that. They're not sure how they feel about each other or how they are meant to be, are supposed to be in each other's lives. Um, and I think that that kiss definitely seals not not, it, not only a bit of confusion, but it's sealed um, the fact that they do love each other in some kind of context. We're not sure quite how yet, but they are bound together. They are, you know, having a baby together, and that is real life. And I think um, characters like that will naturally fall for each other being in the position that they are in. What advice would you give young girls who look up to strong female characters like yourself? Um, just don't be afraid. Just do it. Just go for it. Take risks. Um, don't let people hurt you because obviously that's easier said than done. But people are going to try and knock you down and say shit. And quite frankly, fuck them. Just do you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank how, you. How was it when you found out in the first season that Seg was going to end up trusting Nissa more than he did with Lighter? Because that was, for, I think for the watchers, it was really crazy being like, yeah. wow, here's this person that he at first was really wary of, but then yeah. she proved herself to him. How was that for you? Um, oh, um, I think that, um, I think that was, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't see that coming either. So for me, that was totally new as well. Um, I think that sealed, uh, their relationship and their friendship and obviously proves that they can trust each other and I think the you know the situation that they're in again that they are forced to kind of make this decision um, I think uh, I don't feel like Nissa ever really felt threatened by Liza um, I don't think that she really bothered her that much um, maybe more of a kick in the teeth for Liza but um, I think it's interesting I think what is the most interesting is how actually Liza and Nissa's relationship change and develop in a few circumstances yeah. so yeah good question we saw Lida and this, uh, you know, forming some kind of relationship. I mean, it was a little up and yeah. down. Like, where are they going in the second season? Because now, I mean, now that they've lost, say, both of them, maybe that connects them up. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they've been through stuff. They have history. Um, and they have both lost somebody that they both love um, or love. And um, they are definitely, you know, binded together with by that. However, they are currently on different sides as we as we are believe um, we are left to believe. Um, this has kind of gone to Black Zero and you know Light is under General Zod. Um, and I honestly I don't know how their relationship is gonna go but I, I think that there is a high chance that they will um, root together to get Seg back. You've got to do it, haven't you? <laughs> there won't be a show without him, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would you like uh, for your character to explore in the next season? Um, I would like Anissa to um, explore her, her... I would like her to take more risks. Um, and the stakes I know are getting higher. I'm excited for that. I would like to see her explore herself. I'd like to see her go back and explore her past. Um, her mother we don't know much about yet. I would love her to go and explore that. I would love to see what happened leading up to, obviously, you know, what we know as being the skimmer accident um, and the relationship with her father. Um, I would also like to see maybe flashbacks of her previous relationship that she had um, with the, uh, the woman from the military, the girl. We don't know who that is yet again. 
um, and obviously her relationship with Seg and how, what happens to both X. You know, it's going to be a massive transformation from being, you know, a young 22 year old to having a responsibility of being, you know, a mother. And, and we don't know who that baby could be yet. So it was just announced that a, a big DC character, Lobo, yes. is going to be joining next season. Yes. Is there anything you can say about that? Um, there is absolutely nothing I can say about that. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm not going to waste your time. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's the uh, like, uh, like this situation with the other scene? Or, or, or honestly, because no, technically it's not her job, but it is her job. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Um, what was the question? What's our relationship? Uh, what, like, because of what she's discovered, and where, yeah. I mean, what's that shift going to be? I mean, listen, it's it's like, um, it's like that's just such a big thing for your parents to just not just to keep from you. And I feel like we all deserve to know where we came from. And, and I feel like she feels like that has been stolen from her. Obviously, her relationship with her dad has been affected. He tried to kill her. Um, and like he really did that. Like He was willing to sacrifice her. However, uh, was he willing to if she had you know, other clones? And you know, he knew that she would come back. So I think that there's a lot to explore with that. And she needs to kind of reestablish her relationship with her dad. But I don't think that's going to be an easy thing. I think we're going to see their struggle in season two. Is there someone on the show that you haven't worked with yet that you're looking forward to having some more scenes with? Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 me and Colin Salmon only just started get, getting scenes at the end. I love working with him. I think he's a genius. Um, and I would love to have more with him. Sean, Adam Strange, me and him had no suit. We had one crossover scene. Um, we got on very well. I would love to work with him and his character. And I think that, you know, with obviously the time traveling and the Zeta Beam that he has, I think it would be interesting to see, um, you know, if they can use that to help get Seg back or whatever. Um, but yeah, I would like more, more scenes with both of them. And Georgina, because I would like to establish this writer's uh, relationship. I think they could do a lot together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.